everyone. Thought I'd share with you a bag from the new Chanel uh, Spring Summer 21 collection. It was actually a bag that I spoke to you all about a couple of weeks ago in a video because I mentioned it and said I really, really like this, but I tell you what, it has been so difficult to get hold of any of the stuff from that collection. Uh, and I got a phone call last week really randomly. No, it was a WhatsApp actually, just saying, do you still want this bag? This was in Selfridges. Um, and it was because they had one in. What I also want to do in this video is we're going to talk about white bags. I've had a couple of you recently, I'm going to put your names in here, I've had a couple of you recently that have asked me for information on white bags. Are there any I can think of that I think are worth it? Are, um, are there any kind of drawbacks to it? How to avoid colour transfer? And um, I've got loads of things to talk about and actually quite a few bags to show you which might inspire you. Anyway, let me open this one and decide if I like it or not. <laughs> oh, this is so far, it's as nice as I hoped it was going to be. Wow. Here we have it. Oh, this looks as good as I'd hoped. What do you think? This is, this is from the new collection. This is a mini size classic flap. What makes it a bit different is that top handle so that the, the classic classic one doesn't have that. Let me compare it to the medium so that you can get a, an idea for size. I don't tend to carry much around with me anyway in bags. So for me, I think this is gonna be perfect, but I'll show you how much you can fit in it and all of that kind of stuff. Price wise, this was, £3,480. I really hoped to buy it at Harrods because I actually have points to use and I wanted to, you know, get the price down a bit that way, but Harrods don't have it. Well, they do, but apparently there's a waiting list. So, um, yeah, that's that. Ooh, I like it. That's really nice. White bags. I've had a couple of you, which I'll put your comments in here, asking me just recently about white bags and what's really weird is when I saw your comments I thought that's really odd I tell you for why because I've never massively been drawn to white bags before but for some reason this spring summer I'm kind of more into it and I've actually been looking myself and I've shown you quite a few white bags over the last couple of weeks just to kind of uh, give you an idea as to what's out there but I'm going to share share with you four really good fail safe tips that work for me on how you can use white or really pale colored bags and not ruin them and i've actually done a whole dedicated video on this where i even took out one of my deal it was like a paint and card holder and i drew on it with biro live and i let it dry and then i showed you my tip on how to get it off and i've got a whole section on that to do with color transfer as well so i'm going to link to that below because there are some products that i use that are really worth owning if you're into this stuff so that if anything happens to your stuff you've got things at home that you can go and try i'm also going to show you white bags that are new out that you might like to consider let me just go through these four tips before i share with you the bag the first tip is if you've got a bag that is pale, white, doesn't really matter. If it's got a top, if it's got top handles on it, even if you really look after that bag and you walk around like this and you kind of hold it out or whatever, the handles are one of the worst places for absorbing hand, you, you know, hand oils, hand cream. They are one of the worst places for actually staining the worst and once you've got it on the handles and it's really embedded it's really really now that is difficult to get out so if you have a top handle and as you can see here I'm showing you a Lady Dior I've got here that I bought all the way back in 2015 there is not a mark on this bag except for on the handles and you can see they've ever so slightly changed colour compared to the rest of the bag and that's from me holding it and that actually has been in there so long that I can't get that color transfer out plus as well color transfer in patent leather is actually more difficult than on if it's on non-patent again go and watch that video <laughs> if you're interested wrap top handles in a scarf or in a twilly you do not have to go and buy designer twillies either um 
you, I've actually bought a really, really sweet one before that is non-designer and I think I bought it on eBay and it cannot have been more than 99p. If I can find any that I think I, I like uh, that are sweet, I will link to them below, but otherwise, Go and have a look on eBay, you will find quite a few on there. The second thing, this is one of the ones that in some ways will give you freedom with the bags, is that not all dark clothes transfer colour. So for example, I tend to find clothes that I've got that are cheaper quality transfer, whereas clothes that I've got that are not cheaper quality don't with the exception of jeans. They just transfer everywhere to various different degrees. Really good example is this bag. I've been using this bag nonstop. The last couple of weeks, it's been really quite cold and I've been going out and I've, I've been in boots uh, and a heavy overcoat. And the heavy overcoats I've been wearing are wool and they're kind of, they're either black or they're navy blue. When I'm using this out, I've actually been wearing it under my arm and I haven't, thought too hard about the colour transfer actually. It was something that when I started using it, I didn't think too hard about it. And it was only when I did this video, I thought, oh, I better go and look at that because I've been using this a hell of a lot and there's nothing on it. And it made me think I've actually worn those coats and jackets with other bags in the past, such as this, and there's nothing on this either. And it made me realise those coats are predominantly from Reese. They are like dry clean only and they're really good quality. Whereas I've got coats that I've bought off um, Zara and Shein and things like that and they're just a mess. So with your paler coloured items, just because your favourite jacket is a dark colour doesn't necessarily mean that that dark jacket is going to transfer onto a lighter coloured item. All jeans transfer but what I'm trying to say is that the quality of different clothes can dictate sometimes how much an item sheds colour. But don't take my word for it. Please do a test before you just assume that. It's just that's what I've personally noticed. And then the final tip, and in I go into a lot more detail about this in that video that I keep mentioning, but if you get to a point where you've got a bag and the transfer's happened, I personally find that the quicker you can address it, the better. And that's why I have purchased these kind of leather products that I've trial and errored over the years. And I, I, I have like a, um, a room where I keep my bags and I've got those products in there. So that if anything happens, I, I don't have to wait any time to be able to try and redeem the situation before the color transfer really, really sinks into the leather. Okay, let's talk about these four uh, bags. The first one is one that I actually told you about, I think about a week or two weeks ago now. And there's a reason why I wanna bring it up again. It's this, it's from Prada. It's not leather, but it's canvas. And the benefit I feel to this is that if you kind of wanna try out white without spending loads of money, but equally you don't wanna go and spend, you know, 300 pounds on a bag you don't even like. You kind of do vaguely wanna like it. If you like your brand logos and you're into Prada, I think this is quite a good bag to kick off with. It's actually, if you see it in real life, I don't really think that it's coming across truly on camera, but the bag is quite a cute, chunky little size bag. I can't describe it. It's, you wanna squidge it when you see it in real life. It's, it really holds its shape, it's quite firm. It actually comes with a separate crossbody strap handle, which I wasn't expecting. I didn't realize that was gonna be in there. What I would say with this is because it's canvas, I would definitely cover up those handles with a twilly scarf. But also this bag is around about 800 pounds, but you can get, it's decreasing, okay? Just an inside a bit of information those discounts on Prada are going, okay? That, that's coming to an end fairly soon on certain retailers, I can tell you that. So, I told you. And in fact, Saleron is another one that already those discounts have stopped. So, um, yeah, in the last, this month, middle of this month, it stopped. So if you want anything from Prada, probably now is a good time. The second one is this bag from Dior. This is actually quite a bit more. This is 2,800. 
Not a bag that I would personally buy for a reason I'm gonna tell you in one second. But if you are into Dior, or even if you're not, if you like a shoulder bag and you're sick of the Lady Dior's and all of that kind of thing, this bag from Dior is called the Caro Bag. You can get it in a few different colors. I'm mentioning the white though because I've actually seen this bag styled by people on Instagram and the color of it in real life, it's like a real snow, crisp snow white. It's like bright white. I personally wouldn't buy this bag because for me, I feel that this is a trend bag and each to their own. Um, I've bought trend bags before when they've just really played on my mind and I know I'm gonna use them and I just resign myself to the fact that I know it's a trend item and it'll die out. But then there are some items that I know are trend and I don't want them. This is kind of one of those examples. The next one that I am most excited to tell you about, I don't have it in that color, but I do have it is this. Have a look at this. This bag comes in two sizes. This is the small size, which is bigger than what you're looking at here. And it's really weird for me that they called it small because it feels a lot more like a medium. Anyway, this, can, this comes in black, like a beigey kind of color. Um, and this, which is the nicest shade of white. If you want to sort of dip your toe in the white bag thing, but you don't want something that's like as bright as this, this bag is, it's actually, the color's called Cream Soft from memory. And it is a, it's a muted white cream with the tiniest tinge of almost gray mixed into it. It's not that sort of glaring white, extremely bright shade of, of white. It's a nice position in between. For those of you who asked me to do this video, I hope that this has been kind of helpful or even for any of you watching, even if you don't like any of the bags that I've mentioned, but there are some kind of bits of advice in there that might help you. Trust me, when it comes to trialing and error um, of these bags, I've kind of been there and done it. And I have very few bags in paler colors that have got dye transfer on them. Very, very few. And I've the only things that I tend to keep them away from are denim and when I'm wearing say a jacket or something and it's from more of a um, not even high street kind of more of a fast fashion label I don't really have a lot of that stuff anymore because it wears quite quickly and then then you end up um, not being able to use it but that's the kind of thing that I've really noticed thank you all so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video